Good morning. As we promised about interview focus program, we are now starting our daily lectures, and I am starting with economics. In this program, we are having the team of the good educators, which daily coming with four to five lectures. हर रोज हम चार से पांच लेक्चर अपलोड करेंगे. The purpose of this is what type of question UP SC can ask in personality test or interview. UP SC कैसा question पूछ सकता है? We can also discuss what should be the probable answer in a short manner. और आपको किन चीजों पे focus करना है? Because everybody's mind captured pinpoint that's the points. तो आपको सबसे पहले priority वाले points को ही emphasis करना है. तो agriculture. If you watch my a student discussion video in economics i talk about that in the economics every year every board irrespective of your background has been asking some question regarding economics economics question are coming under five categories agriculture and mining industry msme trade transport investment infrastructure and in the last various government reports and methodology इसके बाहर इंटरव्यू में कोई भी क्वेश्चन नहीं आएगा दिस इज माय 100 परसेंट प्रॉमिस बट दीज आर माइक्रो सेक्शन इनके अंदर बहुत सारे टॉपिक हैं तो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द एग्रीकल्चर टुडे एज पर माय एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द लास्ट 14 15 इयर्स फ्रॉम 2005 ऑनवर्ड्स इन एग्रीकल्चर दे आर आस्किंग सम क्वेश्चन लाइक डू यू रियली थिंक गवर्नमेंट कैन स्टिल फोकस अपॉन एग्रीकल्चर डू यू रियली थिंक Industry can substitute the agriculture. Do you really think the agriculture policy is having tremendous potential, but we are not applying it? Do you think climate has the impact on agriculture? What we can do? Are you aware about government policy regarding climate and agriculture? इस तरह से कुछ क्वेश्चन आते हैं। तो we are picking up agriculture in a comprehensive manner. तो first Six, seven lecture only belong to agriculture, and today topic we are taking new agriculture policy. It is a focus interview series one. So our lecture is having the number one, two, three, four that you can easily identify. If you want the material, we are providing only one one page material, one page, one page, one page for every topic. Just go to www.aspireis.com. In the front page itself, there is a column. By the name of interview focus or focus interview, just click it. The overall playlist will come. Date, lecture, name of the lecture, video, and their content. Even we are providing the facility of student zone. If you bookmark the lecture, it will save in your own profile. And whenever you want to revise it, you can revise. Even you can make the notes of that particular type of lecture. Purpose is very genuine. That before the interview. You people should have certain type of revision in your mind of vital component as we are guiding by experience and you are guiding by potential. And our task is to convert your potential into reality because it is a final lap. And I do not want that any person can somehow skip this lap. And you should go to Labasta 100 by 100 percent. So without wasting the time, we can start. The first lecture is new agriculture policy. So कुछ मुद्दों पर बात करते हैं. There is a difference between policy and program. So many times, you student committed the mistake that when the UPSC board member is asking what exactly this policy is, you are talking about program. This is my experience when I asked from my student that please tell me agriculture policy. They told me, Sir, Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sijai Yojana, Command Area Development Program, Animal Husbandry, Rashtri Gokul Mission. These are the programs, not at all policy. What is policy? Policy is a guideline. New Industrial Policy 1991, 2011 guideline. Guideline means what should be the growth rate, how to achieve that growth rate, what is the responsibility of state, what is the responsibility of center, how to achieve these targets. These are policy. Policies are guiding the program, and program can yield the result. This should be your answer. So today we can talk about policy. So we are generating some base. Agriculture is a state subject. First thing, clear. In India, from the first five-year plan, we put emphasis upon agriculture. Yes, 
in the first fire plan we initiated land reforms land ceiling act in the same first fire plan we introduced the policy of multi purpose power project to control flood drought and providing irrigation second fire plan indirectly agriculture because in the second fire plan we focused upon fertilizer machine tools but third fire plan is a major program in the third fire plan we initiated intensive agriculture development program buffer stock management food cooperation india which ultimately resulting into green revolution then in the fourth fifth sixth fire plan we just focus on irrigation and electricity and that's why in the fifth fire plan we came out with command area development program fifth fire plan till ninth fire plan agriculture policy was somehow haphazard and we were not in a condition to yield the result that's why in the ninth fire plan government came out with agro ecological regions guided by area specific approach but 10th fire plan was a major program because government realize that is half hearted measure in the agriculture resulting into degradation that's why we came out with a national agriculture policy in 2000 and this national agriculture policy is still providing certain type of mechanism if we are guiding by national agriculture policy what exactly the objective is first is 4% agriculture growth rate that we want 4% agriculture growth rate which is not coming and we are striving toward this target for the last 10 12 15 years without this doubling the farmer income anything is not possible the another objective is best utilization of resources conserve the biodiversity earlier in punjab haryana more than 200 300 variety of seeds are there but today only two three variety of seeds are available that means the farmer policy and the new agriculture policy says we should also conserve biodiversity that's why india came out with their own legislation ipv fra that is protection of seeds and farmer can act as a farm breeder maybe aapne ye suna ho it is a part of wto patent issue that in india farmer can not use brands otherwise farmer can use farmer can sell farmer can sow even conserve their own indigenous seeds without any type of problem of patent then growth with equity that means no regional imbalances in between punjab haryana and andhra pradesh that means throughout the country we are developing the agriculture in a equitable manner then agriculture should be demand driven whatever is a demand in the market we can promote only those crops not only wheat rice pulses and oil seeds no we should promote all the agriculture which is highly important according to the consumption and the last important thing is sustainable environment ecology as well as technology so whatever technology krishi vikas kendra is implemented it should be sustainable to mere sath sath ye panch points sab bachche yaad kar lo those who are preparing for interview or next year mains or interview number 1 bolo 4% growth rate number 2 best use of resources mainly natural resources water number 3 conservation of biodiversity water and soil moisture number 4 growth with equity agriculture should be demand driven and last is sustainable environment sustainable economy and sustainable technology how to achieve it how to achieve is very important part number 1 using the barren wasteland india is a country where there is a good amount of wasteland fallow land which are not utilizing so we can utilize this wasteland number 2 long term perspective plan long term perspective plan for rain fed area agriculture in india the central peninsular region western india are coming under semi arid rain fed area this semi arid rain fed area is good for core cereals pulses and oil seeds to isko hame use karna hai control indiscriminately diversion of land hame diversion of land ko rokna hai for industrial and in other infrastructure purpose we can also providing investment of farmer and landless labor that means we can invite and increase the investment in those farmers which are small and landless then we can promote multi cropping and inter cropping and rational use of water all these are the measures which are enshrined in the national policy on farmer aap ghabraiye mat jo jo main padha raha hu ye sab isme mention hai jo aapko aspire ki website par mil jayega all this thing which i am teaching is mentioned in this one page only please go to aspire website and please download all the documents and all these things are free of cost kyunki hamara ek hi nara hai padhiye aur padhate rahiye aur apne jeevan ko aage badhaiye iske baad aata hai what exactly uh, the institutions are there four institution involved one is state second is nabard 
थर्ड इज केवी के कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र एंड लास्ट इज इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट पूसा दिस फोर पीपल और फोर इंस्टीट्यूशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट एग्रीकल्चर ग्रोथ रेट देन वॉट इज द प्रेजेंट प्रॉब्लम देर इज अ सेट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट इज क्लाइमेट इंड्यूज डिजास्टर इन इंडिया अभी आपको पता होगा गुजरात में लोकस्ट अटैक हुआ टिड्डो का अटैक हो गया तो दिस इज क्लाइमेट इंड्यूज डिजास्टर सेकेंड इज इंक्रीज इन द इनपुट कॉस्ट ये सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है दिस इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम इन इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर की इनपुट कॉस्ट ड्रास्टिकली क्या कर रही है बढ़ रही है एंड फार्मर्स आर नॉट इन अ कंडीशन टू गेट द प्राइस विच इज नॉन एज रेमोनरेटिव प्राइस जो ये भी हाईलाइट करता है एम एस पी फेल्ड तो थर्ड हमने यही बात करी है मार्केट प्राइस तो दिस टू पॉइंट आर द मेजर पॉइंट जिस पर इंटरव्यू बोर्ड फोकस कर सकते है इनपुट कॉस्ट हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग फार्मर्स आर नॉट गेटिंग द रेमोनेटिव प्राइस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फार्मर कंडीशन आर गोइंग डाउन वन रेबल एवरी ईयर डे बाय डे ईयर बाय ईयर देन वैल्यू एडिशन इज नॉट अवेलेबल फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट इज अ प्रॉब्लम एंड द यूनिक प्रॉब्लम इन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी मोनोकल्चर एंड इट इज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन एंड एम एन सी डोमिनेशन लाइक मोन सेंटो तो मोनोकल्चर इज अनदर प्रॉब्लम हमारा टारगेट क्या है वी आर टारगेटिंग टूवर्ड्स क्रॉप इंटेंसिटी हमें क्रॉप इंटेंसिटी बढ़ानी है दैट इज पर हेक्टेयर प्रोडक्टिविटी ओवरऑल प्रोडक्शन टोटल प्रोडक्शन बढ़ाना है एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज दैट इज अ क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड देयर फाइट दैट वी शुड आल्सो प्रिवेंट द क्लाइमेट चेंज व्हाट इज द प्रेजेंट स्ट्रेटेजी जीरो बजट नेचुरल फार्मिंग क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रेटेजी क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इंटर क्रॉपिंग चार लेयर पे क्रॉप लगाए आप बोल के आना एंट्री बोर्ड से सर जमीन के अंदर छोटा प्लांट उससे बड़ा प्लांट सबसे बड़ा प्लांट इफ टू गॉट फेल्ड टू कैन प्रोवाइड द प्रोडक्टिविटी फार्मर कैन सस्टेन दिस इज अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन सर मिक्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल एंड मॉडर्न मेथड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्योरली ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग प्रमोट नहीं कर सकते हैं क्योंकि आउटपुट इज लेस तो वी शुड मिक्स ऑर्गेनिक एंड मॉडर्न केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर इंड्यूस एग्रीकल्चर देन वी कैन ऑल्सो प्रमोट दैट इज दैट इज अ बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड सीड प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट दैट इज द यूपीओवी का अपोजिट There is IPV, FRA, and last is innovation. We should promote agriculture innovation through participation of youth regarding Agri Udan scheme. So this is the overall analysis. This mind map is available over Aspire. That is the website. In the starting, I am talking about agriculture as a state subject, and still majority of the population are dependent upon agriculture. और अवर मेजर रिफॉर्म आज तक के हुए हैं लैंड क्रेडिट ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन एंड एग्रो क्लाइमेटिक जोन लेकिन इन सब ने रिजल्ट को इल्ड नहीं किया न्यू एग्रीकल्चर पॉलिसी मेजरली वर्क करती है टू यूटिलाइज टेप अनटेप पोटेंशियल एंड वी शुड कन्वर्ट इन टू रियलिटी रूरल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वैल्यूडिशन एग्रो बायोडाइवर्सिटी जो मैंने आपको बताया If you have any query, just write down any query below this YouTube channel or directly mail me on a. dot kumar. dot aias. Our purpose is very genuine that you people should learn something. If you want some modification, tell me I can do it. But please learn these articles. This is important for both interview, PT, and mains. Don't feel that it is only for interview people. Yes, name of the program is Focus Interview, but it is important for everyone. If you liked it, share it. This is a real remuneration in the fees for us. So, if you like it, share it. My next, that is a video, is regarding budget and Indian agriculture 2018-19 and present. And the third video in the series is regarding Indian agriculture 2018-19 and present. And the third video in the series is regarding doubling the farmer income. Our team is comprising of Shriyas, Vaibhav. All are super talented people. Already had the experience in the UPSC, and these people also work upon agriculture and international relationship. Thank you so much. लगे रहिए, मेहनत कीजिए, पढ़िए, पढ़ाईये, life बनाईये. Jai Hind. Good day.